Libra, Libra, Libra. All I'm hearing right now, all I'm hearing is big dick energy, right? And also, who is this motherfucker? The big dick energy. Let's get into that. Let's get into that. Big dick energy. Okay. Um, and I may not use the cards as much right now for it because I'm, I'm doing my thing, right? Now, some of you have the big dick energy, men or women, right? You have that energy of it. Like, yeah. And people know it. You're attracting. It's the, it's the holiday season. It, you know, you're getting, the, you're getting the ladies. You're getting the, you're getting the guys. You're getting guys. You're getting guys. Girls getting girls all together. Um, but one of you, one of you knows that big dick energy that he, some of you or she, has been getting, having, doing. It's also been doing that big dick energy with other people. Hold on, alarm just went off. That's my uh, reminder, your awesome alarm. I like to do that. But yeah, that big dick energy is also not with you only. Some of you, that's the past. Some of you currently, some of you, it is you. All right, Liba, 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 Libra, words. I'm going to go to, uh, I made some... My own little personal deck here of just fun little quotes. Let's go to some of these movie quotes, something like that. Some of them like that. Let's see what we got here. Big dick energy. Some of you got a real big dick too. Or, woo. Now, big dicks are great. Who doesn't love big dicks, right? As uh, Seth MacFarlane said in Ted 2, big, big black cocks. They're everywhere. Who, who doesn't love them? I had a guy try to make fun of me once in the locker room. And this is when I'm fucking ripped, shredded, training. Because he was like, oh, look at your dick. Right? And first of all, I was like, why are you looking at my dick? And then he whipped out his. And his was already out. And I was like, you didn't earn that. You didn't do anything to get that. You were just born. Look at that big gut above it. Did not go like he thought. Now, as a trainer at the gym, I can't just talk to people like that. So, I recouped. And I said to him, listen, it's great. Good for you. Big dicks. What about this part? How much better would you feel? And how much better probably would everything work if you didn't have that big gut right there with you? I can help you with that. This six pack, 5% body fat, I earned it. I work on it. I currently work on it all the time. Let me help you. Guess what? We became very good friends, all right? So with that said, big dick energy wise, depends how you use it, right? I try to be as kind as possible. Also, it was good business sense as well. All right. Wow. The first one that, that popped up, I love it too. I could have been a contender. Huh? I could have been. That's old Marlon Brando right there. Infinity sign. Interesting. Infinity with this, with this quote on the waterfront. And immediately what I'm getting is you're hearing me. Immediately what I'm getting is you, you feel that inner just like that dude with the big dick. Funny how this works out. A part of him felt very, you know, and then all of a sudden deflated. I couldn't have been, you're a contender. I never said you weren't. Just like you're feeling it, Libra, you're a contender as well. Now in that movie, Marlon Brando says, the day you know I was there, I could have beat him. I could have beat him, Charlie. You know, I could have, could have beat, he didn't do the uh, the mobster version of it, but it, he was like, you, you came in and told me I had to go in the third round. I could have beat him. I could have been somebody. I could have been a contender, right? Why'd you listen to your brother? And I'm, maybe you had the thing with your family, but why did he listen to someone else? Why didn't he just do what he knew he could do? Why did he think he had to take a dive with fear, fear, fear? What are you afraid of, Libra? Libra? Why do I keep saying Libra? Libra. That's not a mistake either. Libra. Libra. I don't know what that is. Let's look that up. L-I-B-A, maybe Liba. Isn't there a part of the vagina that's a... Anyways, you know, you know what I'm saying. Liba is a girl's name of Yiddish origins, meaning deer. This doting and endearing name will undoubtedly hold significance and appeal to members of the Jewish community seeking a name that celebrates their religion and heritage. Okay. Lib what does Liba really mean? Beloved. 
Okay. I don't know what that has to do with what we're talking about, but maybe it'll come back around. It also means love. Are you looking for love? Looking for love in all the wrong places? Old Eddie Murphy right there. Aren't we all looking for love? Some of you already got it, but you're still looking out there. That's the big dick energy right there. Huh? Are you Yiddish? Some of you are Jewish? Good for you. Good for all of us. Jesus was Jewish. According to uh, uh, Paul Rudd, he was the best of us. <laughs> I'm not Jewish, but yeah. But what, why do you feel like, we, is it, now, I could have been a contender. Is it because you did listen to someone and you took the dive? And you know what I mean by that. Like you didn't do what you knew you should do or knew you could step up and do. Or, or you just, you never took the chance and no one ever said anything because you were too afraid. Is that the big dick energy we need? And it's so funny that the, you kids these days, that's what you call it. I just call it Patricking. That's my name. That's right there, Libra. I'm going to say it fully now. I'm going to enunciate it. So the next card here with this, my boy's wicked smat, right? With a lightning bolt, of course. Um, Goodwill Hunting, right? He was, uh, what was it called when you can remember? He was psychic, first of all. Yeah. Like the way he remembered everything. But no, no, that's a thing. It's called, a th yeah, that's how the brain works. That's wh how that works. Yeah. Uh, folks that, um, like Sheldon Cooper or Monk on the TV show, those are psychic abilities. Why do they have those quirks like that? They're psychic. They're also actors and they're channelers. But my boy's wicked smart. Yeah. Again, that I feel that big dick energy goes with that. Because here's like these guys, you know. Some, some of you, I'm getting like blue collar, you know. Like blue collar. Even, even though you may work in like DC or in government or still like a blue collar. But, but, but in a white collar setting. Like you're really like, oh. You know what I'm getting? You're, 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 you're from blue collar, but you work or you live in something in a higher society and you're like, could have been a contender. Some of you are like feeling, ooh, but ooh, interesting. Both on the waterfront and Goodwill Hunting are very blue collar, right? You, some of you feel like you're, you're faking it in with these other, these other folks. Uh -uh. You're the one. You got that energy. You got the touch. You got the power, Libra. And last one we'll pull right here. There is no try. There is only do with a triangle on the back, which try means three, um, meaning connected like a hinge. You're connected. But also this means psychic abilities to me, meaning you're very focused. You have very clairvoyant vision of what you want in your life. That fear, feel the fear and can do it anyways, y'all. Right? There is no try. There is only do. Think about it. I could have been a contender. Then just do it. Right? My boy's wicked smart. Right there. Look at that progression. He just does it, right? Old Will. Old Matt Damon just wrote a script. Ben App wrote the script. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And you have great friends around you. That I think is part of that that and this this just changed what I mean by big dick energy. Yes, a lot of sex going on here. But um motivation, drive, uh uh, uh goodwill. Right? You have a lot of goodwill, especially for this time of year. And you are helping. Remember, you don't got to save the world. I mean, I want a red cape flying around, but every little bit helps. Every little bit. Just even a wave or a smile, especially if you're in a city. You know, if you see a, a homeless person on the corner, right? Regardless of what they're going to do with the money, you got change, give it to them. It's cold out there. Why not, right? Why not? Exactly, Libra. Exactly. You know what I want to do? I want to go to these rebel cards as well. I'm feeling really angsty today, y'all. I think that's all of us right now. It's time of year, right? So and I'm feeling heat on my left thigh right now. Like, like uh, I don't want to say like a poking iron, but uh, like heat, like an iron heat going down. So I don't know what that is about. Are y'all feeling the heat? I feel that song coming on. Feel the heat. It's 80s, baby. 80s. All right. It's not everyone else's fault, it's yours. Hey, take responsibility of your shit. I hate pointing fingers, I hate it. I did. I never did that. I always said, nope, I'm better than this, I'm better than this. I float like a butterfly, sting like a bee, until I became psychic, until my psychic gifts kicked on a notch, and I had to start figuring everybody else, everyone around me, I had to share their thoughts and their insecurities and all that. 
So then I was like, oh, no, it's you. And then I had to figure out, oh, I'm psychic. So yeah, take responsibility. I'm going to say it's not, eh. you know if it's your fault or not, right? No unicorns. We don't need no fucking unicorns in here or dragons. If you know what unicorns are in the sex world, Google it. We don't need to get into it right now. Dragons are the male version of that. And they're also majestic creatures. If you're majestic, we'll see. I don't know where we're going with that. All right. You're a grown ass adult. Stop blaming others for your shit. I feel like this is for me as much as it's for you. I agree and disagree at the same time because there are some fucking assholes out there and I love everyone. I love everyone. I love people. I love inspiring. I love doing my thing. But they're fucking assholes too, right? I'm, I'm an a-hole sometimes. You are as well. Taking responsibility for it. But here's the thing. You don't have to hurt them. You don't have to go out of the way. You don't have to always ugh, think about them or, or, or do that there, Libra. Okay? I think that's part of that big dick energy. You can say ego. Again, I don't think anything's wrong with anyone's ego. When you start to ascend, when you start going through this spiritual ascension, right? And, and you start hearing all the things and feeling all it, it fucking, it's, it's a thing. Okay? Why don't you think Moses really wrote it down or at least it was edited out? Uh, right? In those years, Jesus, same thing. I think Hindus maybe talk about it a bit more. And again, I'll use these different kind. We're going to learn more together here, y'all. We're going to learn more together. Wake up. You're missing some cool shit. Stop sleeping so damn much. I'm not getting that you're sleeping a lot. I think you're sleeping on yourself. You're missing some cool shit. And what I mean by you're sleeping on yourself, you're, you're, you're not, some of you are in that grind. You're just in that grind of nine to five. You're in this, you know, I wake up, I eat, I get in the car and I go, which is great. Awesome. Trust me that, you know, you're very successful with it, but you are missing some cool shit. Are you working for the weekend? Everybody's working for the weekend, right? And Zoolander style. Are you? Is that what you're doing? I'm sorry. I'm seeing him in the movie carrying the coal. Think I have black lung pop. <laughs> but if you are, man, that means you're not happy in life, right? It's okay. It's okay. 99.9% .9 of everybody on the planet is not happy with their life. You gotta take. You gotta take the good. You gotta take the good. Take the bad. Don't be so sad. The facts of life. That's not how the song goes. But. Don't pass up the cool shit. There are tons of, again, I'm going to use the farmer markets or, or, or uh, holiday Christmas markets on out there, Libra. Go, go enjoy. Go have fun. Go have some sex. What? Yes. Get it on. Get it on, Libra. Shit is going down with your job. What were we just talking about, too, with that nine to five on there? Reevaluate. Change your perspective or fucking quit. That is true. What is going on at your job, y'all? I'm getting a little gossip, a little work gossip. Stress, of course, this time of year as well. Um, also, I got, I'm gonna pull one more. You need a good fucking cry. Get the ugly cry on. Let that shit go. Your soul will thank you. I always say, know what, know, know what tears are? Crying, know what tears are? It's weakness leaving the body, just like at the gym. Sweat, sweat's weakness leaving the body, bro. And it's not really weakness, but you know what I'm saying. Shit is going down with your job. What is going on at the job, y'all? That is really interesting. Again, I'm getting that gossip. I'm getting that. Don't be a part of it. I think also you're wrapping yourself in with the gossip and wanting to, and, and it just, it never goes well. Just focus on your job. Focus on your work. Have fun. Those people aren't fun, right? I've never worked in, in, in an office. I don't think I could, but, but if it's, if it's anything like bars or government, I know I've worked in government stuff, uh, not in the office, but doing other things. I won't tell you what, though. And also training. Everybody has gossip. Everybody has shit to say, right? You know what the, one of the best but worst parts of being psychic is? Hearing all the fucking secrets and shit from people. Meaning I sit here and I can just listen to it here and I'm like, mm-hmm. And I don't say a word, which kind of is annoying. And you think of it, well, why aren't you saying it, Pat? Why aren't you saying it? There's a type of training you go through, like brand from, from Game of Thrones, Third Eye Raven, you become very calm with it. Especially if it's something with like murder or like something very serious. I don't think I'm not going there. That's not for you. I'm just letting you know. Like, 
You have to be calm about it. And be like, okay, these aren't my emotions. I see it. What do we have to know? But right now, we're just we're, we're fucking just shooting to the wind, y'all, right now, having fun. You need the job right now, which is great. So, uh, again, yeah, evaluate, reevaluate, and know that you don't have to quit right now. Make a plan. Make a plan for what you want in your life. Happiness is the key. Happiness is what we're all going for. It's already there in you. Everyone's happy. It's all there. We've had those moments. You know it. I think a lot of us still seek outside things. I, I mean, that's. I do seek outside things as well. I love money. I love, you know, nothing wrong with it. But I know I'm happy. I'm content. I'm not content. That's not the word I want to say. I'm happy. Like, I can just sit here and look at these cards and talk to this camera all day and I'm... I can be ecstatic. Or even my workout videos. I get pissed or anything. I just love doing it. It makes me feel better. Get to the gym too, y'all. Get to the gym. That'll make you feel better, especially this time of year. I know it's hard. Overworking, uh, 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 presents, things like that. 40 minutes is all you need. 30 minutes. Well, no, Pat. I go to the gym and then... No, no, no. Think of it. You spend like 40 minutes in traffic maybe. 20 minutes talking to the, the front desk people. Another 20 minutes getting change. Try to whip your dick out and make fun of someone. You know, I'm just bringing that back around. Uh, that's why I don't go to locker rooms at all. That was like the one. And it's funny because I avoid locker rooms like the plague. And that was like the one last time I was in there just because I needed to lock something up. And of course. And I'm like, and that reconfirms why I don't go into locker rooms. And there's always that naked person there just hanging out. I'm like, have you even worked out? I don't think so. Right? Anyways. You spend another 20 minutes getting changed, another like 20 minutes figuring out what you're gonna do. Look at one of my videos. You'll see, I do things back to back, my workout videos. I do things just back to back to back to back. And that's it. Like if I didn't videotape it, my workouts are maybe 40 minutes long, not counting the, the cardio I'll do. So yeah. And we'll leave it right there, Libra. <clears throat> we'll leave it right there, Libra, with a good voice. All right, love you guys.